what's going on y'all been doing some guitar repair lately uh this is a squire telly that came in the shop i fixed the input jack on it today and um uh, i just spent like the last however hour long or so 30 minutes 30 minutes look at the clock uh 30 minutes just trying to get it in tune so i can play a c chord uh just trying to intonate it and you know, get the action and stuff feeling right. But that'll probably be another video. Um, but yeah, you can see I kind of had to do some tomfoolery with the bridge, just kind of like playing with where the saddles sit and everything like that. And now, what the real uh, preface of this video is, is I wanted to try and kind of revoice this pickup um, and if you don't know what that means, all I'm going to kind of do is just move this little screwdriver here up and down until I can get the pickup to sit where I want it to. Well, uh, before I start messing with it, i show you what I'm talking about. You see how it's kind of like uneven? And yeah, it's also just kind of quiet. Like in comparison, this bridge pickup is back here. You know what I mean? So it's a little quieter and it doesn't sound as bright as I think a typical Telecaster probably would. So you move this string over a little bit and we're just gonna turn your screw uh, righty tidy lefty loosey to the righty to get it going up and then just kind of put the other guy Maybe about the same, maybe a little higher. I'm not turning it at all. There we go. And this guy just kind of adjusts the height. I didn't turn it too much. A little bit more. We're almost there though, but you can hear the difference. This one's hard to turn. But yeah, I always like my guitars to kind of have like, what am I trying to say here? You know, when you play a thing, it's not doing a thing yet. Or is it? Almost. But yeah, like whenever you switch to the bridge, I want there to be a little volume increase so that when you're, you know, playing your whatever, and then it's time to solo. You want it to cut through a little bit more. But when I get there, you'll see what I mean. But beyond this probably just replacing this pickup all together like we'll eventually do on this guitar probably it's just trying to get the pickups a little bit higher so that way they just sit nicer you don't want it to kind of mess with your playing or the way that you hold your hand or any of that kind of stuff but and i don't have any screws on this guy which is kind of interesting but okay that's what I'm talking about. So like, you know, you're doing your chords, and you flip to your line, and you want it a little bit brighter, you know? So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, guitar lesson of the day, pick a pipe is important, and it really changes the way your guitar sounds. So if you haven't kind of messed with that stuff, uh, beyond all this other stuff I'm playing, you should totally check it out. It's lots of fun. Um, and it really changes, you know, a cheap guitar to just having some more volume and clarity. And uh, I'm running through my computer here so you can hear a little bit of that. Playing through an orange amp. Flipping. 
Yeah, man, it, it works pretty good. Well, uh, thank you guys. I hope you have a beautiful, what's today, Thursday? Yeah, uh, whatever today is. But uh, thank you guys, thank you, thank you. Doing a little country music session today, fixing up the guitar for the homie. Uh, made some beats for this dude in Portugal named Sir Smoke Beats, really fire producer I've been working with. Um, yeah, lots of stuff going on. Um, I got like four gigs this week. Um, and yeah a bunch of sessions and stuff so thank you thank you thank you big love peace out